Hello everyone. In this final week of Words of Hope, we're thinking about the time when God's plan for the world is finally completed. And today's reading from Matthew takes us into the temple courts. It's just a few days before Jesus is going to be captured and then crucified, and we find him speaking challenging truths and revealing the radical nature of the kingdom of God. And this teaching is challenging, isn't it? At the time, it really upset the religious leaders, and so much so that they went away to plot and kill Jesus. And these words can still unsettle us today. Jesus called to us to bless and to minister to vulnerable believers, those who are hungry, thirsty, a stranger, sick, imprisoned. And as well as rewards, Jesus also talks some tough words of being called to account for our actions. This teaching can make us feel uncomfortable, even frightened. Yet, as you look intently into this challenging passage, there is hope. The first thing Jesus tells us is that there's going to be a point in history when he will return. And this time it's not going to be quietly as a small baby born into poverty, but instead it's going to be king of all, seated on a glorious throne surrounded by angels. What a sight that's going to be. Finally, his kingship will be clearly shown to the whole world. How wonderful, how utterly awe-inspiring that will be. The next Jesus tells us is that God will keep his promises of salvation for the faithful. We will inherit the kingdom prepared for us at the beginning of time and we can be secure in that promise. The Apostle Paul later describes in Ephesians that this is a gift from God because it is by grace that we are saved through faith and not by works. But what's fascinating about Jesus' description of the faithful righteous is that they are people who act with compassion and generosity and care without even realising. It's as if you can't have one without the other. Faith and loving action are fused together. As we allow the Holy Spirit to transform us, we become more like Jesus. We become people of love and God uses us to bring hope to others. And then finally, in this passage, we get a glimpse into some of the deep values of God's kingdom. Because this passage is all about the rule of King Jesus bringing justice to the nations. Justice is one of the most profound longings for humans, isn't it? And Jesus tells us that at this point in history, when he returns, justice will be done. Wrongs will be righted and the world will be brought back into balance again. It's going to be a time of celebration and rejoicing and it's going to be a time to look forward to. So may God bless you richly today as you ponder and apply these words of Jesus.